everybody, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, I've got a lot of bait making, rig tying, carp and catfish videos. If those are things that you're interested in, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow, and it's greatly appreciated. Hey guys, for today's video, uh, we've got a little bit of leftover chow from some previous baits that we've made. So I think what we're gonna do is spice our oats up a little bit by adding some of the chow to those. I've never made this bait before, but we're gonna put something together for you. I think what we're gonna start off with is gonna be one tube of old fashioned oats. And uh, like I said, make sure it says old fashioned on the tube. You know, there are similar ones out there that say quick oats and whatnot. And those don't break down as well unless you add stuff to them. And this container weighs 42 ounces. And that's what we're going to start with. Just go ahead and dump it into your bucket. And now we're going to measure out some chow. And we'll add that in there as well. All right, so now we're gonna add in one pound of number two chow. And before I add that in there, I think I'll bring the camera in because I get a lot of questions on this and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I know some people have went out and bought the uh, bigger size, which will float. You wanna stick with the size that doesn't float like number two. As you can see, these are smaller than the size of a BB. So we're gonna go ahead and add the one pounds into our bucket and then we're going to mix that together real thoroughly and while I'm doing that we're going to talk a little bit about chow okay I get a lot of new carp fishermen that are asking me what is chow well it's basically just fish food it's made by Purina um, it comes in a bag that says Aquamax on it so it's basically just fish food okay so we're going to go ahead and mix that together really well While we're mixing this up, I also want to let you know about a super easy and free way that you can help support the channel. All you have to do is A, be subscribed, and then B, if you're watching this video, which you are, click that like button. That helps our videos get ranked higher in the search listing and allows us to do bigger and better things for you guys in the future. All right, I think we got it mixed up pretty good. I'm gonna bring the camera in and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, once you get her mixed up, you'll be able to see some chow spread throughout the oats. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna need to measure out 16 ounces of K-Row syrup. All right, the next step is gonna be running upstairs and tossing our syrup in the microwave for about one minute. Uh, that step is not mandatory. You don't have to put it in the microwave, but it does make it a lot easier to mix your flavor into the syrup and to mix the syrup into your bait afterward. Now that we've got our syrup heated up, we're gonna mix our flavor in. And today we're using Banana Supreme by Hog Sauce. This is a really strong banana flavor. And when I make my baits, I like to do anywhere from a third to a quarter of a bottle of flavor. Since we didn't quite have enough, we'll tap into another bottle here. Sure does smell good. Now we're just gonna mix it in. Now that we got our flavor mixed into our syrup, we're just gonna go ahead and dump the syrup into the bucket. Keep your spatula on hand, and that way you can use it to scrape the excess out of your measuring cup.
and we'll set this on our lid. That way we don't make a mess and get syrup everywhere. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. We want no dry spots. Said I've never made this bait this way before. So if we have to add anything later on, I'll let you know. I'm gonna guess it'll be good to go though. I'm also gonna put this bait back and use it later on in the year and we'll get a video on it that way as well. Man, that smells good. I'm gonna keep on mixing this up till I got no dry spots. And then I'll bring the camera in and show you guys what it looks like. And after it's set up, we'll do a breakdown test on it. Before I bring the camera in and show you what this looks like, I'm gonna show you a simple hack you can do with your spatula to help clean your hand. Just grab it and start scraping off the excess bait. These syrup baits, man, they're sticky and they're messy. And this is gonna help you get a lot of it back in the bucket. All right, guys, there's the finished product. And even though there's a lot of oats in there compared to the chow, you can still see that the chow did go a really long way. Still quite a bit of it in there. And being the oats is a great bait and chow is a great bait, this might be a way to help soften the cost of the chow and make it go a little bit farther. All right, guys, we're back. It's only been about I don't know, maybe an hour if that. I'm gonna go ahead and pack us a ball up. As always, with any syrup bait, you wanna get your hand wet first. All right. Like I said, I didn't check it at all. Um, after about an hour, that's when I first looked at it and it's packing pretty good. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. It goes a long way to helping the channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that, please. We really appreciate that as well. Man, you can really see that banana flavor going throughout there. It's looking really good. probably about a minute and a half in it's almost completely broken down see if I can't move these bubbles out of the way for you Like I was saying earlier guys, even though it's a small ratio of chow to oats, it's still pretty prevalent. You can see a lot of the chow mixed in there with it. So this might be a great way to, you know, soften the cost of the expensive chow and still create a great bait for your pay lakes and for the wild water. I'm going to give this a shot out in the wild because um, that's what I like to do and we'll see what happens. I do want to say thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.